Boss chairs that foundation, which gives out the prize, and he joins me now live. Thanks so much for uh, coming on the show. Thank you for having me. We'll get to the Queen, uh, the Queen's birthday in a moment, um, and and the the prize, of course. Uh, but first, let's talk about. Uh, the possibility of a Brexit. Uh, you certainly spoke out emotionally recently, uh, saying that you came from a mother who survived Auschwitz and a father who fought a war in Europe, that it's better to be separate. So you're clearly worried, but how, how worried as a whole is the industry about a Brexit? Well, I think industry is generally worried about Brexit. Uh, I'm, of course, very worried about it. I do believe it's better to be together than apart. Uh, and certainly, if you leave, uh, you leave uh, with a great deal of uncertainty, uncertainty which could be incredibly costly uh, to the uh, United, Ki to United Kingdom, both on a political and economic front. But I think people are concerned. Uh, they believe, I hope, uh, that uh, eventually the UK, the, the population here, will vote in favour of staying, uh, but uh, no complacency. Uh, can be had in this regard. All right, you are calling for global governments uh, to protect education spending and to protect research and development spending. How big an issue is this? And is the protection of the spending actually spending the money and continually doing that to show that there's a need, that there's a budget for that? Well, it's absolutely essential. If you look at all the things that are helping humanity forward, from the computer to the internet, to semiconductors, to name but three. Uh, and even trivial things, not so trivial, I suppose, but things like nonstick uh, uh, Teflon and things like this, they all started with great uh, a, 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 a support from governments in research and critically development. Engineering is about development. It's about taking ideas from the laboratory and making them into things that make a difference to you and me and to everybody. And it's an essential component to keep the government spend high as well as the private sector high. Uh, and we've got plenty of challenges to sort out, such as, you know, how, what do we do about climate change? What do we really do practically? Can we change the energy mix of the world? These things are too big for individual uh, enterprises to, to do, but they are important things for governments to do. And indeed, I'm very pleased that uh, governments after the Paris conference got together to increase the amount of R&D uh, in climate change and energy substitution. Okay, so nominations are open today uh, for the Queen Elizabeth Prize for Engineering. What do you think uh, it tells us about the health of, of UK engineering? Well, of course, this prize is global. Uh, it's just headquartered in the UK, but it is the Nobel Prize equivalent for engineering. Uh, so much as the Nobel Prize for medicine, let's say, is awarded in Stockholm, Sweden, it is for the world, and this is for the world. I, I think engineering is very healthy indeed. Uh, it's everything from chemical engineers who develop drugs to deliver to beat cancers through to all the software engineering that goes on whether it's in London, Boston, or San Francisco, or other parts of the world, that create brand new breakthroughs and challenges to existing uh, industries, such as Uber and Airbnb. All these things are really partly engineering. So we're looking forward to a great list of nominations uh, from all over the world. All right, and, and speaking of the Queen, it's her 90th birthday today. How important has she been for your group? She's been very important. She's been a great supporter of excellence, but more importantly, giving aspiration to young people. And, and actually having prizes like this around the world give young people aspiration. They, they too can achieve it. So she's been very important. Her husband, uh, uh, the Duke of Edinburgh, is essential in this area too. He has been uh, a very great uh, proponent of engineering. In his own words, when I interviewed him once, he said mm -hmm. the reason he really thought it was important was because after the war, the UK was, in his words, skint, i.e. broke, and the only way out of that was to get engineering up and running to change the way the country was. And, and that, I think, is true all over the world. It's a great way of improving prosperity of humanity around the world. 
and certainly, yes, so many contributions uh, around the world. Lord Brown, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me.